All right, welcome everybody. I'm Chad Shoop, and welcome to my latest Bank It or Tank It, first one of 2023. So I hope you're pumped, ready to jump into the year and hit the ground running. We got a lot of things going on here through my Bank It or Tank It analysis and the strategies that I'm using. And we just launched here in 2023, my Money Stack Challenge, the 5K Challenge. For those of you that are following me, I've talked about this a lot before, but this year we're doing it right. We're taking it one trade at a time super highly focused as if it's your only born child. We're going to follow this one trade very closely. It's not dependent on any strategy or anything like that. It's it's going to be just dependent on the markets and the types of trades that we're going to be uh, finding in there are going to be short term for the most part, looking for these quick moves. And if you want to join us right up here, there'll be a, a button that you can click to get more information about how to join us in my brand new money stack challenge for 2023, where our goal is really to turn a small account into a much larger account uh, as we go through the year. And to do that, we're going to be taking this highly focused approach. So I'm, I'm pumped. I mean, I think that's the most exciting thing that we've launched here so far. And we got a lot of great things coming out. So that's something that you definitely want to check out. Now for today, for our Bank It or Tank It today, we got three stocks that we're going to run through pretty quick just to add them to our list and give you some quick insights on where things are trading and how things are looking. So let's dive in first here on Cisco. S-Y-Y is the ticker. All right, so I zoomed out just so we can see the bigger picture here. That purple line is, we're going to get to it in just a second, but you can see that it's kind of highlighting the trend, but it's really pinpointing this gap over here uh, that we're about to talk about. But just in general, this stock hasn't done much. This goes back to 2021. I mean, it's a volatile stock. It's bouncing around, but we're just kind of trending sideways over that time frame, indicated by this, uh, you know, slowly rising resistance level in red and support in green on the bottom. Now we're doing a lot of chop in between here. So what do you want to watch? You want to watch gaps, key levels as we move through here. And right now we had a gap lower. It broke down because of that. And then now we're rebounding out of that and we're back into this gap area with the, where the stock's currently trading here. And so it's, it's definitely pushing to close this gap. So we're looking for it to push up to 82, but then we could resume the sell off. Or we can get above this and this could act as support. So this is going to be the key level to watch here for Cisco. Because it's been trending sideways, it doesn't really give us much to be excited about so far. So we're going to throw Cisco on our tank it list for today as we look for this to hold as a resistance on the way up. And then it could test that and then push back lower and ultimately test the support in the coming weeks. So we're going to have Cisco as a tank it stock for today. But of course, if it gets above that, it's right in the middle, so it's got room to run higher and still stay, stay in this sideways trend pattern that it has been in uh, for the, almost two years now. So next stock, Ralph Lauren. So RL, ticker symbol, is the company that we're looking at here. And we can just jump right in. We see that it's making a bottom, coming out of that, seeing some volatile moves. And these colors on the chart are the relative rotation graph that I use for the momentum that we look at. And when we're looking at this, we see that it was green which was leading into this breakout so that was great to see and then it went through a weakening phase that was yellow lagging which is red and when lagging moves lower that's bearish but when we see lagging do like it did here and the stock was able to move higher in the lagging quadrant that was great to see and it jumped straight from lagging it skipped the whole improving quadrant because it was probably a you know on a rapid move so as it's coming out of lagging it just jumped straight to leading um, there for the next um, sector that it hit but look, we didn't break out. This is a, you know, a little uh, resistance level to keep an eye on. This is on the verge of breaking out. We hit it, it pulled back, and this is just creating this resistance so far. So it's something to keep an eye on right now. It's not something to take action on because this has only been tested one time right here, and we want to see how this stock reacts. This level also, basically $116 a share. is very close to where it closed um, on Wednesday. So that's something... This little spot that it's at right now is pretty pivotal, pivotal, so that way it doesn't fall back down to this support. So we're going to keep an eye on Ralph Lauren for today. is going to be on our bank it list. We're looking for this stock to continue to run higher. We'd love for it to get above this to continue this breakout momentum to the upside. And then I think this level, because of this little consolidation that it had here in testing, I think this will act as a resistance level on the way up if we fall below this, or it'll act as support on the way down if we break above it. So that's the key level to watch. And that's how we'll be trading Ralph Lauren. We want to get above this. And then when we get a retest on this level, we want to buy calls on the stock to hold that level and then continue to move higher. So that's what we'll be watching in my flash alert service. Now our last stock for today, Intuitive Surgical. 
This stock fell 4% on Wednesday. Uh, basically, it pre-announced, uh, kind of upset some investors. The outlook wasn't that great. Stock fell 4%, but you can see here that through this bottom, it's created a key support here from the previous resistance levels on the way up. Now that we broke above that, it looks like we're coming back down. We're going to potentially retest this in the coming weeks. Um, but as long as we're above this green support line, we want to be bullish on intuitive surgical. So right now we're going to have this as our bank it stock also for today. So two stocks on my bank it list in this volatile market. And if you follow me, you know that I'm not exactly bullish here in 2023. I think we're going to see a recession, a lot more stock market volatility. But hey, I follow the price patterns and I follow the price charts on how they're telling us to trade it. And right now, these two stocks at least are telling us to stay bullish on them as they look to kind of solidify this bottom and continue to move higher. So that's what we'll be watching here, Intuitive Surgical. It's a bank it stock. Um, we're expecting it to run higher here over the next several weeks. So that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Look, check out my new Money Stack Challenge uh, research service. It's going to be phenomenal. Taking it one trade at a time. I'm going to show you how you can grow a small account in just a matter of weeks uh, with just taking these few trades, but we're going to do it throughout the year. So make sure you join us. So that way you can stay up to date with all the latest trades and research analysis that I'm providing. Click below so that way you like and subscribe to the channel. And hey, leave me a comment. Let me know which stocks you want me to feature in my next Bank It or Tank It video. So that's all for today. Until next time, I'm Chad Schumann.